Okay, everybody, uh, before I move on and talk more about this app that we're building out, I decided that it would be a good idea to have some ways in which you can test your app on an actual device. So as you can see here, I have a Samsung tablet and I have a USB connector. Uh, this is all connected on the computer. And so I'm gonna show you sort of two ways to do this. One where you just install the actual physic, or not the, you install the APK file on the physical device using that USB cable uh, drag and drop. And then the other is by using the QR code reader. Um, and the reason why I'm doing it in the reverse order is because when I first tried to do this, I was having trouble with the QR code reader link. It was busted. Uh, and, and it turned out it was the way the environment was set up. And I know some of you are probably having that kind of issue. But then I decided it's probably in our best interest for me to go over both ways. One, to actually create an APK file that you download directly onto your tablet, but also how to fix that little error with the QR reader in case you're coming across it. And if you don't have the error, that's great. If the QR code works, that's awesome. So you can try either way, but we're gonna start with the APK uh, transfer, then we'll deal with the QR code reader. Bringing up the QR code, reader when it does i get this and i click open browser and it's supposed to open it yeah there we go if you take a look here it says invalid link okay so sometimes for whatever reason the link just doesn't work on the app there is another way around this and it's by connecting the device so i'm going to go ahead and connect the usb cable for my device and um, plug it in the usb and then i'm going to plug it in here and uh, wait for it. A lot of times it's gonna ask me what I wanna do. So over here it says select to choose what happens. All I need to do is open device to view files. So, and you'll see in this case it's a Galaxy Tab A. Uh, if I go back a step and then open that again, there we go. Uh, nope, wrong one. Uh, oh, it closed down on me, okay. Uh, oh, here it says allow access to tablet data. I'm gonna click allow. Now it will hopefully let me do that. Double click on it, tablet, there we go. Okay, so I did have to actually give it permission on this particular device. Everyone's gonna be a little different, but you wanna be able to see the files on your PC or wherever you're doing your development. And then um, the other thing is you wanna make sure that you're able to see it. So you might have to do some setup there. Uh, the other thing you're gonna need, and uh, I, I had to double check, is you need something that allows you to see files. So you see that folder, that little icon there says my files. Uh, you may or may not have that. If you don't, there's a lot of file reader apps that you can get for your Android device. You just need to be able to make sure that you can see your files in here. And right, right away I see a list of different files. You can see a bunch of other APKs that have been downloaded. And so now that we have that all set up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click build. I have to click okay. And now I'm gonna do a build, and instead of QR code, I'm just gonna have a save APK to my computer. So I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna take a while to load, so I'll pause recording while it's... Okay, once it's done, you'll see it pop up down on the window below. And so I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna choose show, show in folder. And there it is, there it is in the folder. So I got one folder here, grab the tablet here. Now I've tried different areas. Um, the, one first place I tried was just going to download, and you should see other ones you've downloaded. So then you just kind of drag it over and drop it in. Now part of this, you may have to have it sort of refresh in order to see it, and that is one thing that I had an issue with before. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, and let's zoom in on it a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go to downloads. We're looking for downloads, and it should appear in here. And notice I don't see it anywhere on here. So, a couple things we could do. I could try to go back out of this, click a close all, and try it again. Sometimes that's all it takes is just to take a look at it one more time. There it is, training assistant, it's at the top. I'm gonna click on it, and right away it's gonna say that it's gonna give me a security error um, or a warning. You know, my phone is, not, is set to block installation of apps obtained from unknown sources. Well, I know the source, but the, uh, the Android device doesn't. So I'm gonna click on settings and there's an unknown sources, I'm gonna check that. My recommendation is that you keep the allow this installation only 
And the only reason why is then it's less likely that you'll have malware being installed without your permission or some Yahoo gets on there or whatever, I don't know. I'm gonna go click OK. Now I'm gonna install it. This is the first time install it should work. Let's go, go ahead and see if it does. We'll let this run while it goes. Okay, maybe I'll pause. Okay, app installed. I'm gonna click open. It's gonna open it up. There it is. Now, now I have my app. I can test it out. I can click on here. I wanna see that I go to a new screen. When I go to a new screen, I can't see anything at all. Something went wrong, so I'm gonna to have to fix that and test it out. But now it just becomes, it's a little bit cumbersome. I just have to do any work I do on it. I need to do the work. I need to build it again, download it. And then I'll just keep adding it to the download folders like I did there and testing it out. And I wanna show you kind of what, what's happening and how to fix it. Okay, so we're gonna try, uh, I did Google Play Store and I'm looking for the Lightning QR scanner and I'm gonna install that one and I'll show you. This one allows me to actually copy the link address instead of having it just immediately go to a browser and try to install it. We'll see if we can get that resolved and working that. Okay, so if you look here with the Lightning QR reader, we have copy content, open link, add share. I'm gonna click the copy content. Now I'm gonna try going directly to the browser and seeing if I can do it that way. Link you copied, downloading. There it is. So using that one, that's the way you wanna do it. And it tells you the access that it needs for doing what it is, which is just network access and Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna click install and uh, then I can install it from there. Uh, you want to also make sure, like in this one, I already have it set to open files from any source. Uh, usually it'll give you a warning. You want to read the warning and make sure you're following along. And you just tell it that you understand and it's okay to um, take uh, or download sources or download from un, whatever they call it. Just like on whatever sources. Okay, there you go. All right, now we have it working. So a QR reader, if it's not doing the standard download, just get the link from the QR reader and then paste it into the browser. Um, otherwise, you just get that invalid link. So there you have it. Two different ways that you can download your app onto your actual physical device. And so in our next tutorial, we'll actually start working on the add new entry screen. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much.